Hey guys, this is Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. This is a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. We're going to look at your love here, Gemini. We're going to find out, will you find romance in the near future here? This could be for singles, couples, whatever. However, this applies to you, Gemini, July 21st through the 28th, okay? Seven and tries the most high three cards for Gemini. Well, Gemini is fine romance release your ex free yourself jeez codependency why is that card always coming out for you gemini here okay and it always has something to do with another gemini i'm not a, i don't know why okay um but this card comes out a lot for you guys this codependency card addictions are affecting your romantic life whatever type of addictions here okay free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so someone has literally got you going in circles here okay um and you're being told to release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so the time has come the time has come both places here okay let's take a look at this a little closer all right Why is release your ex here for my Gemini's? Ooh, look at that before I shuffle that. Okay, you got the two of cups here and the five of swords here uh, in reverse, okay? I feel like you're done fighting with someone or you're, you're finished, uh, you're, oh, oh my God, are you serious? Look at this. It's like you've made it. You're made. You've made a decision. Get out of my mouth. You've made a decision here, okay, about some lover. But that two of cups lets me know, or makes me feel like you're with someone else now. Or there's someone else in the picture okay this may be past energy for some of you guys you got the two of pentacles here in reverse you got the ten of wands and you have the temperance card so you've already dealt with feelings okay and dealt with burden burdensome feelings okay with this situation okay with your ex and i feel like that's why the lover's card was in reverse. It may be with this release your ex card here. Okay, it may be past energy that I'm seeing or a connection that has been severed or cut here, cut off, okay? You're still feeling bound by this situation here though, okay? With this devil card and it keeps repeating to free yourself that it's time to do this. So maybe you're still connected to this person, still communicating with this person, okay? Still dealing with a broken heart and it's just on your mind, but you're not totally connected with them. Some of you are still connected with them, okay? But there's no growth um, and there's some lack of stability here. Okay, it's not a healthy type of relationship with that devil card in the ace of pentacles here in reverse codependencies. There's your five of swords here. And again, okay, someone's going to be speaking their mind in, in a relationship, okay, because someone is just draining them emotionally. <sighs> you got you in your mind, in your head thinking okay should you sacrifice yourself and i feel like someone's going to be communicating their feelings very very soon okay you have the hierophant card here in reverse they just don't i feel like the connection is being lost here let's take a look okay let's see if anybody new is coming in for you here gemini all right give me cards for gemini please July. Come on. As soon as I shuffle them, the <laughs> page of cups falls out there. Okay. It's gonna be another love offer come in towards you. Mm. The 
there's a few storylines here. That's what I'm saying here, okay? You don't mesh with someone. There's a stalemate here for some of my Geminis, okay? Take this message as you will where it applies, okay? You're freeing fr yourself from this uh, stalemate. This is someone that you may have been with in the past that you're still... They're still calling you, still trying to be friends with you or befriend you, okay? But you feel like you've released yourself, okay, um, from them. You're being forced to almost face the truth and open up and communicate how you feel, okay? Because I feel like there's other opportunities coming in. Opportunity for um, success in your life and love. It's just dates, though. That's what I'm saying. It's nothing serious, okay? There are people that are interested in you, Gemini. They're very interested in you, okay? Will this new lover be similar to the past lover for Gemini? It's not anything long term like I feel here, okay? You got the seven of swords. It's not going to be like serious relationships. But I feel like they will be honest at least, okay? Because I don't see any family union in this, <laughs> in these cards here. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like you're just looking out for yourself right now. You're really trying to pour into yourself at this moment, okay? It's all about having patience. Have impatience with yourself. I'm just feeling this card out right now, okay? Because there's no way she can literally grab this lion's mouth and not have patience, okay? And trust in her own instincts, okay? So that I feel like that's what you are driving yourself on right now, your own instincts and trusting in yourself. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of my, a lot of signs are getting the strength card here. Okay. Why is release your uh, ex here? I'm going to look at this under the question, will this past lover, will this new lover be um, similar to the past lover? Okay. I'm going to look a little deeper. No. No, I don't feel like this new relationship is going to be like that. You have the eight of cups here in reverse. This is a new opportunity. Okay. Um, new opportunities. And I feel like it's more than one that may be coming in. Okay. New partnerships and new relationships, because this seems like a disaster that you have already released. Some of you guys have released it. Okay, physically, you've released it. Okay? But it's still in your heart. It's still with you somewhat. Or like I said, this person is still trying to communicate with you. That's why you have on both of these cards here, Gemini, that it's time to free yourself here. Okay, so that you can form better relationships. Uh, that's what I'm saying. All right? Take back control of your life. So, let's take a look at what this new love could possibly uh, be, okay? The possible outcome for this new love coming in for you here, Gemini, okay? Let's get the cards for Gemini. What is a possible outcome for Gemini here and 
July, July 21st through the 28th. One time, one time. Good. I was, I was trying to get away from this damn card. I kept seeing it. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, and then you still pop out. So you want to be seen with the seven of swords here in reverse, okay? Let's take a look here. What's going on? Better relationships here. Um, you're going to have some honest partnerships come towards you here. That's what I'm seeing, okay? You have the three of wands here, Okay. You have the moon card here. You have the page of wands and the ace of swords here in reverse. Ooh. Okay, I see it. So I feel like there's opportunity still coming towards you here, Gemini. But as they come, as this new news comes, um, this could be in any area in your life, okay? You're just being told, I feel, with both the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Moon card to not become trapped in illusion, Okay, um, to see things in a realistic <laughs> matter, but also um, use your intuition to help you along this path because there's still people around you that may be <laughs> not who you think they, you don't, yeah, they're not who they say they are. That's what I feel here, okay? But they hide behind this mask, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. These are the people that you encounter on your journey, on your path here. I feel like these people that you encounter or have to deal with are there for a reason. And they're there to learn a lesson from, okay? Like you can't bypass this path. I don't know why I'm drawn to the moon card so much, okay? And these tap, these pillars here, both of them. It's almost like night and day. It's some type of duality thing that's going on here for some reason. That's the feeling that I'm getting here, okay? <laughs> Okay, my goodness. Okay, so I almost got sucked into that. Let's see if we can make some sense of this, okay? These people may betray themselves, to be honest, but you have to... Be vigilant and use your insight. That's why the moon card is here, okay? To decide and make a decision on whether or not they're trustworthy here, okay? That should be a no-brainer. That's what I'm feeling here. But sometimes I feel like people can come and look like an opportunity, but really they are just, yeah, a disaster here, okay? Let me take a look here. Is there anything about this new lover coming in here, please? Thank you. You got the Emperor card here. <laughs> the King of Pentacles. This is all you. You have the World card, okay? And you have the Six of Swords. It's all you. It's all about you at the end here. That's what I'm feeling, okay? There's, they're, they're not saying much about this love because I don't feel like it's a long lasting love. I just feel like it's a bunch of love interest here. Okay. 
you're trying to you're, you're coming to a close on something literally here that's what i'm saying with the world card and the six of swords here see i'm moving <laughs> yeah you're closing this you're completing some cycle that's what i'm feeling here very strong and you're taking care of self at this moment Make sure you keep this emperor energy here. It's some sense of maintaining control. That's what I'm seeing, okay? While you're searching or waiting for success or working towards it and through your journey, okay? Mm. Okay, so I f there's another message. Be careful of the communication that is given uh, or be careful of the communication that is coming in as well. Let me get a message for you. Sorry, your reading is a little weird here. Please give me a message for my Gemini's. July 21st through the 28th. It's all about you at the end here. We'll see what they have to say. I never got this card before. Okay, defend to the end, <laughs> the worthwhile. Do you have the number 23 here? Okay, oh, look at that. It looks like almost an owl on her head, if you can see that, okay? <sighs> You're being told here, Gemini, you are being told to stay strong and stand your ground. You've cried genuine tears and you know you know what's worthwhile, okay? You're being told here what soon will happen through healing will be worthwhile. Something's about to happen in your journey here. Some significant change here, okay? That's what I'm hearing. That's y'all reading. Let me get out of here. That's your reading, Gemini. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Like, subscribe, and share. I don't feel like it was anything negative here at the end here. This is all about you and just being careful and cautious of the new relationships that are coming in towards you. That's what I'm saying here. But you do have some good success coming in here. No long-term partnerships, though. That's what I'm, I'm not seeing long-term here if you're single, okay? That's your reading, though. You guys, thank you guys for coming back to watch this. Take care of yourself. I love you. Bye.